Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about the different methods of preparing salts. Salts are ionic compound. The term ionic compound means the salts are made from reactions between metals and non-metal particles. Salts can be categorized into two different types, soluble or insoluble. We will start the explanation with insoluble salts because it is the most straightforward where the only method to prepare insoluble salts is precipitation. Precipitation means having two soluble salts mixed together to form an insoluble salt. The insoluble salt form is separated and collected by filtration. The filtered insoluble salts are washed with cold distilled water and tapped dry between filter papers, where pure and dry insoluble salt is obtained. We are done explaining with the preparation of insoluble salts, and it is that simple. Now we will discuss about the preparation of soluble salts. All spa salts are always soluble, which stands for sodium, potassium, and ammonium. All spa salts are prepared using titration. Titration involves mixing of two soluble reactants at the start. Most of the time, the reactants are acid and alkali. When mixed together, it forms a soluble salt product in the end. An indicator needs to be added so that we will know how much acid needs to be used exactly to react with all the alkali. Indicator cause the color change during reaction, which signals to stop adding chemicals. The keyword to remember for titration is doing it twice. Do it the first time with indicator to determine how much exact chemical to add, and repeat the second time without indicator to prevent the salt product form from contamination by the indicator. Last but not least, we will extract the dry pure salt from the solution using crystallization. Lastly, for soluble salts that are non-spa, we'll use acid plus excess insoluble method nicknamed the Milo Dinosaur Method. Milo Dinosaur is a type of chocolate drink made by a really greedy person with way too much chocolate powder to the level that the chocolate powder becomes insoluble. Using the nickname Milo Dinosaur to describe the acid plus insoluble method means we have added insolubles in excess to the acid to make sure that all the acid are reacted away. There are three main types of insolubles, which are bases, metal, and carbonates. Insolubles are added in excess to the acid and later on get removed by filtration, leaving behind only the soluble salt product that we need. Lastly, the soluble salt product goes through crystallization and we will get the dry and pure salts. To summarize, there are three methods of preparing salts. Precipitation for the insoluble salts, titration for the soluble and spa salts. For those that are soluble but not spa, we will use the acid plus insoluble method, which we nicknamed it Milo Dinosaur Method. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.